It came as a great shock to evolutionists when a living example of the supposedly extinct coelacanth was caught in the Indian Ocean in 1938. It was then seen that the fish was no different from the fish of our day. Contrary to the claims of evolutionists, coelacanths had neither legs nor primitive lungs. What was worse, the coelacanth, supposedly a creature readying itself to make the leap from sea to land, was in reality a fish that lived only in the deep waters of the oceans, never approaching to within 180 meters of the surface. Another alleged transitional form has been a fossil bird called Archaeopteryx. For decades, evolutionists argued that this creature was an intermediary between reptiles and birds. However, the seventh Archaeopteryx fossil discovered in 1992 revealed that the creature had a sternum. That is, the chest bone essential for flight muscles. This proved that the animal was a perfect flying bird. The evolutionist claims about the claw-like nails on the wings of the Archaeopteryx also failed, since similar structures were also discovered in modern birds like the Wawatsin. Because of such reasons, one of the foremost defenders of the theory of evolution, the is Stephen J. Gould, had to admit that Archaeopteryx could not be considered as a transitional form. Archaeopteryx, classified today by many paleontologists as a true bird, not a reptile bird intermediary, was the first of a number of deceptive schemes promoting evolutionary ideas. Evolutionists misdated and misidentified this extinct bird, presuming it to be the missing link between reptiles and birds. The best example of a transitional form that my evolutionary friends usually give is Archaeopteryx, a supposed link between the reptiles and the birds. Recently, a, another bird has been found dated by evolutionists to be 75 million years older than, than Archaeopteryx. So therefore, Archaeopteryx could certainly not be the ancestor of the birds. Actually, evolutionists don't have any idea how the reptiles evolved into birds. They don't have any of these transitional forms. But that doesn't stop them. You pick up any book on evolution, and Archaeopteryx is still presented as the best evidence. <laughs> 